Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I am going to derive Fermi energy level in intrinsic semiconductor material as well as I will be going to explain you few essential basics regarding Fermi energy level in intrinsic semiconductor material. So, let us derive this Fermi energy level for intrinsic semiconductor material first. See, in intrinsic semiconductor material, if you talk about concentration of electrons in conduction band and concentration of holes in valence band then those are equal in my last video i have explained that if you have seen my last video in that we have seen intrinsic concentration in semiconductor so in that i have explained you those pre electrons which are there in conduction band that concentration and these holes which are there in valence band that concentration that remains same and we have seen those equations even concentration of electrons that is n in conduction band and that we have seen it by these equations right concentration of holes that we have seen it by this equation so now by using this i'll derive fermi energy level so here for intrinsic semiconductor material you should know electron concentration is equals to hole concentration so, concentration of electrons in conduction band that will be equals to concentration of holes in valence band. Concentration of electrons in conduction band that is Nc into e to the power minus Ec minus Ef divided by Kt and concentration of hole that is Nv into e to the power minus Ef minus Ev divided by Kt that we have seen, right? Now, what I'll do is I'll take this e to the power term on one side. So, here e to the power minus, you see, Ec minus Ef, that is how it will be there. Now, this minus that will go on other side. So, again, this will be minus Ef as this minus sign that is there, there in out of bracket, right? Plus Ev. And then you are having divided by Kt, right? And on other side, we are having Nv by Nc. So, here if you observe, see this term that is having e to the power. So, if you wanted to have energy, you will have to take natural log on both sides. So, over this side, what you will be having? Minus Ec plus Ev and then minus 2Ef by kt that you will be having and on the other side ln nv by nc that we will be having right now see to have this ef this ec plus ev that you will be taking on the other side as well as this kt that you will be multiplying it with ln so you will be having this ef that will be this ec plus ev on the other side that will get plus now divided by 2 right and plus this kt that is getting multiplied with this so kt and this 2 that is getting divided over here into ln nv by nc so this is one effective equation that we have it for fermi energy level here we are having two forms that you need to understand so first form is based on this nv and nc now, I will explain you second form as well. So, here we have seen what is the value of Nv and Nc in my last video. If you see that Nv and Nc, right, so that is that is material constant, right. So, that we have already seen. Now, let us place it over here. So, Nv that is material constant as well as Nc that is material constant nv for a uh, valence band so that is 2 into 2 pi kt mp where mp is mass of holes divided by s square raised to 3 by 2 and nc that is 2 into 2 pi kt mn where mn is mass of ele electrons this raised to 3 by 2 right that is how these two equations are there now here from these two equations, we just need to place Nv by Nc. So, if you do this, Nv by Nc, 
then you see this 2 pi kt by h square this term that will get cancelled and you will be having mp by mn raised to 3 by 2. Now this term that we need to substitute over here and you will be having second form. So here this Fermi energy that will be this EC plus EV by 2. Now you see instead of NV by NC we are having MP by MN raised to 3 by 2. So this 3 by 2 that will come front. So you will be having 3 KT by 4 ln MP by MN. So this is what second form and these two equations those are very essential in solving examples as well right so these are the equations that is the regarding fermi energy level in intrinsic semiconductor material now let us try to understand few essential key points so here if you observe energy band diagram so in energy band diagram here we are having conduction band valence band this bottom edge of conduction band is having energy ec top edge of valence band is having energy ev right and if you observe here center line, so this center line that is EC plus EV by 2, right. Now why I have drawn this center line? The reason is when it comes to this Fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor material, then that value is very nearer to this. Why the reason is if you see these equations, so that is having two components. This is component 1 and we are having second component that is this. So, this second component that value is relatively very small compared to first component. So, in majority of cases you will be observing this Fermi energy level that is EC plus EV by 2 right in majority of cases. But sometimes in competitive examination some tricky question comes like what will be Fermi energy level for silicon. Will it be below EC plus EV by 2? Will it be above EC plus EV by 2? That type of tricky question comes. So, let me explain you that. See, when it comes to silicon. So, for silicon, you should know in silicon, we are having mass of holes. We are having mass of holes that is lower than Mn. Right. So, for the case of silicon, you will be having Mp that is lower than mn so what will happen this value is lower than 1 if this value is lower than 1 then the second term will be negative if this second term is negative then silicon is having ei that will be lower than this as this second term is negative so for silicon it will be lower over here as mp is lower than mn but when it comes to gallium arsenide or gallium arsenide that is compound semiconductor right. So, in that this MP that is greater than MN. So, in that situation this MP by MN this term. So, that will be positive that will be greater than 1 that is why this LN term will be positive. As this is positive for gallium arsenide you will be observing it is above EC plus EV by 2, right. But usually you can say approximated value that is EC plus EV by 2, right. And that is not only depending on this LN term, it is also depending on temperature, right. So, if you increase the temperature, you can say this second term that will increase, right. But usually you can say for intrinsic semiconductor material, Fermi energy level that will be exactly somewhere nearer to the middle in between EC and EV. That is why EC plus EV by 2 that we used to say. I hope you have understood this. Still, if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in the comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.